Hi friend, here's something cool. Your ink device can be an amazing tool for drawing and creativity, not just for reading. Today I want to show you how you can turn it into a fun and creative space to improve your drawing and sketching skills. Now I want to be upfront, I'm not an artist or a professional sketcher, but with this simple method, even as a complete beginner, I've had so much fun and actually created some drawings that I'm very proud of. Plus, compared to spending time on social media, this is a much healthier and more creative activity for kids too. One of the cool things about ink devices is how close they can mimic the look and feel of drawing on real paper. Thanks to e-ink technology, your sketches can look incredibly natural. Of course, some devices make drawings easier than others, and a few even have color screens, but overall, the experience feels about as close to paper as you can get. And the best part? This method works on pretty much any ink device that supports note-taking, so whether you have a Kindle Scribe, Cobo Libra Color, Books or Remarkable, you can dive right in and start sketching. Now let me walk you through the simple method I use to make drawings on an ink device both easy and fun. Step one is to find an awesome drawings or sketches online in JPEG format. I personally love using Pixabay because it's a free platform with tons of quality images. Once you find images you like, just download them to your computer. Step two is to convert those images into a PDF. A super easy way to do this is by going to a free website like jpeg2pdf.com. Upload your images and it will combine them into one PDF file for you. Step three is to send the PDF to your ink device. This step will vary depending on what device you have. For example, I'm using a Kindle Scribe, so I just go to the Send to Kindle website and upload my PDF there. Once the file appears on my scribe, I simply open it up and I'm ready to start drawing. Few extra tips for you, some devices let you adjust the contrast or opacity of the PDF. This can help make it easier to see your own pen strokes over the original image. The Kindle Scribe, for example, has a contrast feature that makes the PDF less vivid. I also like to draw a few test lines on the sides to figure out which pen tool works best for the area I'm working on. Once you're happy with your drawing, use the lasso tool to copy it to the clipboard. Then open a new notebook and paste it in. Your artwork is not only saved on the original PDF, but also in your notebook and ready to be shared. Give it a try and see how creative you can get. I hope this video was as fun for you as it was for me. If you've already been using this method or have other cool ways to draw and sketch on ink devices, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're curious about the differences between the Kindle and Books devices, check out this video here. And if you want to discover some cool tips and tricks for Remarkable Paper Pro, you can find that video right here. All the best and have a great day. Bye!